Hey, good evening, everybody. It's about 9.30 at night, um, but no better time to praise the Lord, you know what I mean? We've been singing gospel songs up here, me and my buddy, we're on the phone with Miles Charles. Big shout out. I love you. Keep singing, please, because you touch people's lives with your singing, and I thank you for that. And I can't wait for me and Randy to sing I'll Fly Away with you. But I just want to say um, a special th shout out to the people that's been helping us. And I want to say I love you guys and God loves you. And I truly believe and I know he will bless you. Truly through and through. Um, this is my war room. This is where I do my study. Um, I come to pray. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, to everybody. Emmanuel TV. Um, all y'all, um, thank you guys. Thank you for the support. You know, uh, it's been a true blessing. Um, so God has moved me in a lot of different ways here lately. Obviously, you see I'm starting to dress up a little nicer, and that's just not me. I'm way out of my comfort zone. But I'm going to say a little quick prayer real quick, and then I'm going to get started. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for our salvation. Lord, I thank you for dying on Calvary on the cross for our sins. Lord, I thank you for that. Lord, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for your love, your grace, and your mercy, Lord. And I thank you for that, Lord. Thank you so much. I thank you for everything you have blessed us with, Lord. I pray for our enemies, Lord. I pray bold for our enemies, Lord. They need more prayer than ever. The people out there still lost. Lord, we need to be witnesses. We need to be testifying to them, Lord, and planting that seed for them, Lord. And I thank you for that, for the opportunity to do that, Lord. Thank you. I thank you for life, the breath you've given me and my kids, Lord, and I thank you for that. I, I thank you for blessing my brother Randy, Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Lord, I just thank you for everything, Lord. Please forgive us for our sins and our trespasses, Lord. In your heavenly precious name we pray. Amen. Alright guys, I'm going to read out of Romans chapter 1, actually. But I'm going to start with verse 15. And I'll stop when I stop. So, so chapter 1. Verse 15, so as much as in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also the Greek, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, they, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath shewed it into them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world that are clearly seen, being understood by, thing, by the things that are made, even his eternal power of Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they become fools. They change and change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible men. And to birth, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness, through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between them, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more of the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. That is verse 25, uh, 15 through 25 in Romans chapter 1. I want to say thank you guys for uh, tuning in tonight. Um, the Lord really laid this on my heart tonight, actually. Uh, I was at a, a function and, and uh, with my forever family. Thank you all. Uh, and he really laid that on my heart tonight. So when I grabbed my Bible and I got home, I opened it up to Romans. And I started reading and studying a little bit. So this is kind of brief. So the Lord just really laid it on my heart. You know, I, I look back into Romans a lot. Romans is one of my favorite books in the Bible. Um, the whole Bible is my favorite, but Romans has really touched me in a way because it had a lot. The Lord opens new things to me every day. And here lately, Romans has been on my heart a lot and in my mind, and, and the Lord brings that to me, you know. And to think in 
The just shall live by faith. We have to live by faith. We have to walk by faith, not by sight. If we don't walk by faith, we're putting our faith in man. And we don't need to put our faith in man because man will let us down every time. We need to be putting our faith in Jesus Christ. He is the one that died on the cross on Calvary for our sins. He took it all. He bared it all. He bared our cross. He knew our everything that was going to happen to us in our lives. Yet he bears our cross. Today, or tomorrow, Sunday morning will be the third day when he rises. And we thank God for that every day. Because we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a just God. We serve a loving God. A God that loves us and he truly blesses us. If we would open our eyes and see what he does around us each and every day. I see miracles happen whether it's from a, a child coming home from St. Jude's cured from cancer and remission. That is a miracle from God. Not everybody gets to walk home. Not everybody gets to go home. But God chooses people. I had a man tell me tonight, he said, Sir, thank you. You know, I prayed with this. I prayed with this young man. I just got so overwhelmed. I said, Lord, help me. Guide me in the direction I need to know. Everything happens for a purpose, a reason, not by coincidence. Not by coincidence. Everything happens part of a reason. We serve a just God and a mighty God and a loving God and a faithful God. I don't serve. My God does not let me down. I let him down. You know what I mean? I, I fall short of him every single day, but he loves me anyways. And when I fall, he picks me back up. That's the God I serve. That's the God we serve. We just have to step out of his way and let him come forth. We have to let him lead us, not by leading us. In Proverbs 3, talks about leading. It talks about, in Proverbs 3, leading on our own understanding. I'll look up here and I'll, I will personally read this so I'm not getting nothing wrong. I have a bad memory problem, guys, so excuse me for that. <laughs> uh, but I am God made me, you know. There's a reason for it. There is a true reason for it. It says, My son, forgot, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life of peace shall add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about, about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. I fall to my knees every single day in humility. <laughs> See, God, I'm not worthy, but you love me anyways. And I thank you for that. I thank you for life. I thank you for the life you have given me. I thank you for the for saving my wretched soul and bringing me back to where I'm at today. I thank you for that. I thank you for my children. I thank you for my Christian friends. I thank you for my family, my forever family. I thank you for everything you've done in my life. I thank you because you are a mighty God and you are faithful. I am the one that's unfaithful. I let you down, but you love me anyways. And I thank you, Lord, for that. We need to acknowledge him for everything that happens even in the good, <laughs> we bless. He blesses us. He gives us strength. He gives us courage. He gives us wisdom. He gives us knowledge. He gives us what we need. He gives us the tools, what we need. Jesus Christ is alive today. I don't serve a dead God. I serve a mighty God that's alive. He's alive today just as he was that many years ago. We serve a mighty God. And I thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Whew. Get a little high. But I'm just saying, we have to step back and let him lead our paths. We have to be faithful because he's faithful. Even if we fall short, we ask for forgiveness. Lord, forgive me for what I've done because you are mighty and I am weak. But you make me strong. You give me the strength I need, Lord. Thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Take this off for a sec, guys. I, uh, <laughs> I cut a knife. I don't know why the Lord laid this on my heart. Maybe you're struggling with something. Maybe you're struggling saying, He can't forgive somebody like me. Let me tell you, I used to steal from people, my own family. I robbed them. 
I've done some medieval things out there where he might think she took control of me. But I was walking with the devil, not Jesus Christ. When Jesus life took when Jesus Christ took oh, took me and said, Come forth, my son, I want you to serve me. Let me show you the way. I'll guide you, I'll lead you. And I said, Amen, Lord. And when I finally surrendered it all, he led me home. He's leading me home each and every day. I'm, each and every day, I'm one step closer. <sighs> he is a great God. He will bring you out of the depression. He will take the depression away if you allow him and trust in him in all the ways. He will guide us. He will protect us. He will heal you. I, whew, he is a mighty God. He is alive today, just as he was now 11 years ago when he died on the cross. And he rose in three days later. He conquered death. He conquered the grave. He's a mighty God. That's what we serve. That's who we serve. A mighty God and a just God. But he loves us unending. Woo! All day I can go on. I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in. And if y'all are struggling with depression, anxiety, suicide thoughts maybe, I just want to let you know I love you and Jesus Christ loves you. And we are praying for you. Find a church. Find somebody to pray with you because he is there. He's just waiting for you to call upon his name and come to the cross and surrender it all at the foot of the cross. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a blessed night. God bless.